Hello awesome fans, I'm your host Keith Wickham and welcome to Sodor Live. As I'm sure you can feel it, holiday cheer is in the air. This is our Christmas slash New Year special, and since we are celebrating two holiday occasions in one, we have lots in store in this episode for you. We will be discussing the face reveal video with you and try to answer some of the questions you might have about it. Our special guest star today is James the Red Engine, and we will have lots of questions to ask him. Let's start with the face reveal questions. I thought the face reveal video was pretty good. It's nice to see people behind Percy and the Beast Productions. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Welcome back. Question 1. How long have Brave G-Fire and Mighty Nick known each other? Brave G-Fire has known Mighty Nick for 10 years. And while he is older, he says Mighty Nick is a much better actor. Nevertheless, they have been firm friends for years. Question 2. Where are Brave G-Fire and Mighty Nick from? They are both from Canada and both were born in the province of British Columbia. Question 3. What are Brave G Fire and Mighty Nick's hobbies? Brave G Fire likes to collect hockey cards, while Mighty Nick has a massive train collection and he has been collecting them since he was little. You could also say making videos for you fans is a hobby for them. Final question for this segment. Which Thomas character is their favorite? Brave G Fire's favorite character is Edward and Mighty Nick's is Thomas. Well, I hope you all have learned a thing or two about the Tatmok team, and special thanks to the Multiversal Ministry and all those involved in the project. Let us now give it up for our special guest star, James the Red Engine. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Welcome back and welcome James. Your red paint looks especially splendid today. Hello everyone, and thank you Keith. Of course, I have to make sure I look splendid in front of all the people and cameras. How does it feel to be the main star of Sodor and the SCP? It feels awesome, Keith. I'm glad to have my own show, as it makes my life more interesting. Which scene has been your favorite to film so far? The missile scene was my favorite, because I like the action. And me and Edward had a lot of fun trying to avoid dummy missiles. Now these missiles were made of foam. And let me tell you, when they are fired at you at lightning speed, they sting a little. These missiles were really hard to avoid. We were hit many times by them. But eventually, we got the timing down. Regarding Sodor Fallout, you had one of the most horrifying mutations out of everyone. How did it feel to go through all that makeup process? Uh, now this was a difficult process to go through. My makeup team used clay prosthetics for extra mouths. Those damn mouths itched like crazy. It was not enjoyable for me, but I got through it luckily. I didn't have to do many scenes. There is a possible episode 2 remake in the works, so I will probably suffer again in the future. What's it like having to play multiple variants of yourself in Tatmok? Oh, the multiverse. Now this is a lot of fun, but also a lot of headache. There will be many versions of me, and it's a lot of fun to jump from character to character. Is it possible we'll see a variant of you when you were painted black before you came to the Soto Railway? Maybe. I don't know, but I hope the writers will add that in, because it would be cool. But going through the painting process will be difficult, especially if by next scene I have to be red again. What type of stunts you do will have to require a stunt double? I have a couple of scenes where I have a stunt double. We use them for special effects scenes where I could get damaged, but I cannot go into details. Spoilers. Which universe of Tatmok would you want to visit? Well, I am not sure, as all universes in Tatmok have some pretty messed up things going on in their worlds. Who out of all your engine co-stars is your most favorite to work with? I don't have one favorite co-star. I enjoy working with everyone. And for our final question, do you know if there's going to be any more Soda and the SCP episodes? The answer is yes. There will definitely be more Soda and the SCP episodes. We just don't know when because of Tatmok. Also, I think my producers have no idea either, but it's definitely in their plans to make. Well, thank you so much for being our special guest for this Christmas slash New Year special. Thanks for having me, Keith. It's now time for our fan Q&A segment. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back, and we're off with the fan Q&A segment. First question, Keith, 
What really happened to Gordon in Soda of Fallout? My producers plan to explain this in future episodes of Soda of Fallout, but as for their plans for Gordon, I have no idea. How did the concept of Toby and the Multiverse of Chaos come into your mind? This is a long story, but here's the short version. From what Percy and the Beast Productions has told me, it starts with Soda of Dark Realm and takes inspiration from series such as Marvel's What If and other alternate universe shows. They created a Soda What If teaser trailer, but this series was not meant to be, but the ideas lived on and eventually Tatmok was born with help from a great writer known as Shanks, creator of Sodor Mist. Can Dr. Beeching travel to other universes that aren't Thomas related or no? Dr. Beeching can only travel to Thomas related universes as this series is all about Thomas and his friends at the heart of it, but there might be a small exception to this rule, don't hold me on this, I could be wrong. Will 98462 and 87546 appear in Tatmok? I am not sure, but I believe they could appear in Tatmok in the future. Will Tatmok include the universe of Shed 17 and Project G1? I know my producers have plans in motion for Shed 17 regarding Tatmok, but I cannot get into many details. Spoilers. With that, we have now completed the Q&A segment. Stay tuned for future updates of Tatmok and Soto Fallout after this commercial break. Welcome back. We will start with an update on Soto Fallout. Percy and the Beast Productions plans to fully dive back into production on Soto Fallout episode 13, after Tatmok releases towards the end of January. You fans will have one more choice. They will put up a poll and you fans will get to choose between Soda Fall Episode 2 Remake or Episode 13. Shortly after you fans make your decision, production will fully begin on your choice. Now for Tatmok, they have 4-5 to five episodes planned in total. Now the series will have more of a movie feel to it as this is a huge project and Tatmok's future depends on how much you fans love the series. Remember you fans have the ultimate power to choose what series to continue or not. Your views matter, your subscription matters, your choice matters. Percy and the Beast Productions is very grateful to have all you fans, new and old. Merry Christmas to everyone, and Happy New Year! This is Keith Wickham, signing off.